don't hug me, I'm scared. What's your okay. favorite idea? Oh, it's like felt stuff. Like the animation style. You get the idea. I just tried to think creatively. Did it go viral like two people are uh, major? Are they like human size now? Okay. Oh, it's super. You know what? Now. This is awful. What are we watching? <laughs> Come on, guys. This month was the 10th annual VidCon. VidCon, if you don't know, is the biggest and best and awesomest social online video conference of all time. Over the past 10 years, it has grown from a small YouTuber convention to a massive media event that brings together the internet's biggest celebrities, their fans, and of course, advertisers. Brands recognize the power of online video and use events like VidCon as a case study for what types of video content their audience cares about. VidCon's 10th anniversary inspired us to take a look back on the last 10 years of online video and the current state of video advertising. I think that it's a really cool way for people to interact with people they see online. You know, 20 years ago, if you like watched a TV show all the time, there was no way you're just like running into that person anywhere. People go on YouTube and they watch like daily vlogs from people. I think the quality of the content on YouTube has just improved yeah. incredibly. I think that goes along with technological advances, but I think the user experience when you're watching YouTube video for a lot of these creators is fantastic. Which is so. another great thing for, I mean, local advertising. The bar of entry for video is getting so low that yeah. even your iPhone, like the, right, the yeah. Pixel right. now, the image quality is so good. And everyone's watching things on mobile now. So if mm -hmm. you see a video, ad on YouTube before your video on your iPhone, it's like the quality is going to be negligible. I'm really seeing a shift in brands um, from highly produced, like really expensive to make mm -hmm. videos to more organic. I love those. Kendall partnering. Jenner, I know she got some criticism for partnering with Proactive because mm -hmm. everyone was like, oh, we know she doesn't really use Proactive. Mm -hmm. but then her ads would just be her like washing her face in her mm -hmm. own bathroom and it looks like, you know, she might have just taken it herself. What about video at Facebook, Facebook Watch and right. IGTV and right. stuff like that? Are they even close to being competitive? They're working on it. <laughs> <laughs> what's, with, what's with Facebook's mid-roll right. ads? On okay. Why, why? Well, the thing is with their mid-roll ads, they're actually having some success with brand awareness. Really? Like they are. They're getting a lot higher ad recall for, mid, for the mid-roll ads. So. What about their, I mean, the retention? It's true, because the average attention span is eight seconds. And so, I'm offended that you just said that about me. It's a fact. <laughs> <laughs> so basically, as marketers, we have to adjust to what we're seeing on the platform. So what we are seeing is that if you mention your brand within the first three seconds, you have a much higher retention rate. And if you mention your call to action in, in the middle of the video, you have a much higher retention rate as well. And if you design your video to be sort of optimized with the sound off and you have a ton of captions, you're gonna get a ton of people, much, many, many more people to finish out your video. So it's really how you adapt to how people are adapting to you. Like they do short, um, shorter ads, which are usually funnier. I guess it's my attention span. Like I can, I can sacrifice six seconds of an ad if it's like funny. If you can make me laugh in 15 seconds, I'll watch it, yeah. yeah. Confusion. Definitely not confusion. fear. Yeah, confusion for sure. Yeah, if I see something that I'm like, what is this? It's gonna make me watch more to find out what it is because I'll be like, intrigued. On Facebook, you see it, you see ad coming, right. and I'm already, I'm ready to click out. I'm <laughs> yeah, like, my yeah. fingers Hovering ready. <laughs> it's not about going, hey, watch my ad. It can't, it can't be that. And you know, it's constantly yeah. changing because people come up with good stuff. When they first started bringing on the, the skippable ones and Evil Dead was advertising and they, the ad would come up and in those five seconds would just be, don't skip it, don't skip it, don't skip it, don't skip it. Pass. Oh. And it was, <laughs> no, it was, it was terrible. No, it worked really well because it was terrifying. And this was like right when they first having the skippable things. So something new. So it's always, and it's just an example of like, that's not going to work anymore because people are kind of so used to it and they've seen it before, but like that whole, how you grab people's attention is always evolving. I am more proud of the man you have become than the basketball player. You are bigger than oh, basketball. Cool. Yeah. I love it.
for us. Dude, that was amazing. Good? I've got goosebumps. Why was that a good one? Because it wasn't an ad. It was hard. Really? Yeah, like it was heartwarming and poignant. It was like real stories, yeah. real people. It do, you, wasn't like... do you think you would have stopped and watched that all the way through though? I would have. Going into if, that commercial, do you think that you would have kept if, going? See, if I saw that on YouTube for the very first time, yeah. probably not. I'm going to be honest with you. Okay. If that was on television, yeah. uh, and then I saw like snippets of that on YouTube after, yeah. I'd probably be inclined to go and watch that again. I probably would have skipped it. Oh, come on. <laughs> it, started, <laughs> it started so <laughs> slow. <laughs> I just thought it was interesting. I like ads that like tell a story rather than... You know, yeah, like, just like here, Budweiser. Like we talked about before, you said the half of uh, advertising is going to video now. Um, I feel like it really all is about the connection you can make with people. One thing that is a common denominator in this is the emotion part of it. Again, it's that evoking that emotion, creating that re relationship. It's very centered around how you're making the person feel, what value you're giving them, and how quickly.